Hello there, I am your host and art teacher. The name is Joshua Palmer and this is Joshua's Art Quest. Today, we're not going to go on a quest. We're going to stay inside because it's raining. I like rainy days. Rainy days are good for getting all cozy, getting a cup of tea and doing some art. So today, I thought we could draw some characters. Are you ready? Do you have your sketchbooks? Good. Okay. Let's crack into it. All right, I've had a few requests now to draw a dinosaur. Let's draw a dinosaur. I'm thinking a, a T-Rex. So that's gonna be a bit of fun. I'm gonna use a normal Bic pen just to start us off. And then I'm gonna come on later with a more inkier pen just to solidify the shapes. All right, are you ready to go? It's gonna be good. So these are one of my favorite things to draw with. Just your standard pen. You probably see these laying around everywhere. Um, they're kind of fun. You can draw light or you can draw heavy. You know, yeah, I, I guess it's what I've always used. And so here we are doing this. Okay, so we're gonna draw a T-Rex. Let's start off with some interesting shapes. So this is gonna be like his face. I'm just drawing lightly guys, I'm not pressing too hard, right? So I drew a square and then attached to that square is going to be kind of like where his neck is going to be. So you just draw like two shapes, boom boom. So that's like his neck, right? And now this is going to be his tummy, which is like another square. One, two, three. We've got three squares going on here. And now this is going to, the next one's going to be like his tail and it's going to be doing an interesting thing like this. Now we've got one, two, three, four, four squares. And to finish off the tail, we'll draw another one like this. And it can be going a bit more twisty, like that. Yeah, like that, that's cool. And now we're gonna like draw his legs, but they're also gonna be in shapes as well. This is a fun thing to do. It's like when you look at things out in the world or creatures, monsters, people, you can generally break anything down into shapes. So as you can see, his leg has just got one, two, two squares, and then another one like this. But this is kind of like a triangle. Triangle, like this. And now I want to draw his leg on the other side. And again, we've just got a bunch of shapes. And this is kind of like a triangle as well. Now with these two feet, I just want to give him some more shapes. So this is like his toes. And this is like a toe. And this is like a toe as well. And there's another one here. So you can see what's going on here, can't you? And this is kind of cool because you can be a bit rough with it to start with. I want to actually make this shape here bigger like it comes down bigger so I can make the, you know, the dinosaur look a bit more chubby. So let's bring down this curve here. And then it comes up again. Like that. And now I want to draw his, you know, where his arms are going to be. I've always found it very interesting with these dinosaur um, pictures why they got these teeny tiny little arms and they've got these big legs like i'm just like wh what can they do with these i mean how do they even bend down to grab things or like how do they grab stuff out of trees it just seems like these little piddly little arms seem kind of useless but maybe they're not maybe there's a, a good use for these things so i'm going to give this dinosaur like three well three fingers and one thumb And then I'm gonna do one on the other side here. Like this. And his hand's gonna be hanging down. And again, three fingers, one thumb. Yeah. All right. Now we're gonna start like changing other shapes up a bit too. And now that I've made his um, tummy a bit bigger, I think I might make his head bigger. Yeah, yeah, because the T-Rex has got pretty big heads. Mm, big head. So it's just like a bigger square. 
and then that neck bit is a bit bigger as well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start drawing his mouth in there. And it goes right. They've got these very interesting mouths, eh? And it kind of curves up like that. And then his chin sort of like more like that. And then it's like this ridge where his eyes are going to be. And these really scary looking eyes. Kind of like indented eyes, eyeballs inside there, and then on the other side of his head, there's like this other uh, container for his other eye, <laughs> and then here's his nostril, looking cool, looking cool, and then some of the pictures we see of T-Rexes, they got like these curly bits of like flubber. It's like a neck, worn, worn out skin, kind of like that. And then I'm going to just give him a bit of muscle on his back, like this. And then for his um, leg, another lump like this. And then we're just going to go down the side of his leg here. I'm like fleshing it out now because I started off with the original shape, but obviously um, we're not going to draw like a square dinosaur. Um, and then here's like where his knee is. Do a little lump there. And then there's like the muscle on his leg. Sort of similar to the muscle that's on our leg. So you've got this calf muscle at the back here. And then for his feet, it's kind of standing upright so his toes go right out like that and then he's got these little points from the bottom little toesy woesies little points there and it rounds off like that and then this one little point And then what's really interesting is they actually got kind of like this other little toe thing. It's like a little, a little piddly thing again. So it comes off the side here and it's like a little boink. A little bit of detail. I wonder what they're going to use that toe for, you know. It's sort of like just as pointless as these hands. Anyway, anyway, sorry, I should just leave the poor T-Rex alone. He's allowed to have small hands. Um, alright. I might do his, yeah, I'll do his other leg now. Try and get it similar to that one. Now, I've... I'm wanting to line up his kneecaps properly, so I'm just going to go a bit like lower with that than what the shape was before, and that comes around like this, and again that calf muscle in the back of his leg, and then we start coming down the back, and then oh don't forget this little point thing in this back of his foot here, and then we go right for his foot, and then. Do a little claw here, right like that, as you can see, and then another little point there, then another thing there, and then for his final toe, we do a little point, and then come back around, and this looks very upright and terexy, a terexy, cool. Looking very um, stylistic there, Mr. Mr. Rex. And now we're going to do like the outline of his like whole body kind of shape. Start with like just underneath his arm over here. We'll work our way around. Just want to like solidify this. And go up to his tail. Now my T-Rex is quite sort of squashed, if you know what I mean, but we can just say it's a stylistic T-Rex. Um, and then it sort of ripples along here. And 
back, comes underneath his chin. Cool, getting that shape looking pretty cool there. And his arm. Now I'm not gonna say any more about his arms. Let's see how his fingers like kind of widen up there at the end. Okay, so zoom, 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 and zoom, 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 like that. And this goes zoom, zoom. Fingers are puffy just before the end. Like this. He's looking, starting to look very um, lizardy, T Rex y. Actually, to make him look a lot less lizardy, you go like this. Probably make this a bit more T Rex y shape as we have seen in the movies. And draw a little pupil in the eye just to get started on the detail. Alright, I think we're ready to go on with the detail. And of course, the teeth is where we're going to start. So draw a little tooth there, and a bigger tooth there, and a tooth there. Do you reckon dinosaurs believe in the tooth theory? It's the first time I've ever asked that question. Do you reckon dinosaurs brush their teeth? They probably have pretty bad breath. Especially the carnivore types. And we've got the teeth there. Now we're gonna give them some layups. A layups. In the bottom. Yeah, top lip. There. Cool. And this jaw has this interesting thing that goes round. Like that. And these interesting little holes in here. Right, right. now we're going to start adding some like skin texture on this guy. Start by shading his eye. So shading, I'm just drawing like these lines. Just lightly. Get sort of darker and into the middle of the eye. texture of the skin is like these kind of like spots, eh? Scaly skin. And then this stripity, stripity, scary looking texture up here. For some reason T-Rexes always look at like they're a bit grumpy or a bit scared. They've just got this constant, like alert, unrested, scared look on their face, if you know what I mean. If you look up pictures of dinosaurs, you look at the T-Rex, they don't always look too happy. Like squirrels, squirrels are always happy, but I just don't think that T-Rexes are. Do 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 shading out of here. It's floppy skin, eh? On his neck here. Stripes on his back. Stripe on his neck here. Do do do. Stripe on 
underneath his dummy. Just while I'm at it, I'm just gonna add stripes on this guy. Not too many though, he's not he's not a raptor as the raptors are. He's a T-Rex. Cool, now I'm just gonna add a bit of shading on his hands, his arms, on the sides here. And his claws actually, make the claws black. Ching. hand here. And then underneath this arm is like a shadow. Like this. Do -do 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 you know what, I'm just going to go all the way back to his jaw and draw some texture on his jaw as well. And I might get to his teeth in a bit. There's like these stripy things underneath there. And these spots. Underneath his lip. And then I want to draw the inside of his mouth, which is kind of behind his teeth. So it comes up like that, and then I want to shade on the inside. Oh, cool. Now I'm going to shade his teeth. Shadows just on the top of the teeth because they're underneath his lips, like that. And then shadows underneath the bottom, on the bottom of the bottom teeth, by the lips. Like that. And I'll start giving these a stronger outline so you can sort of see them, the teeth. Jing. Shwing! Dinosaur! Alright, now I'm just gonna do some shading on this chest. Do 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 detail. Get that scaly dinosaur skin. And look, make it look like this T-Rex has been through a lot. He's been in lots of fights. In fact, I might give him a bit of a, a gash on his leg, like he just thought another big T-Rex. They were fighting over a blueberry pie. And this T-Rex obviously won. He won the battle, he got the pie. So when I make these lines a bit darker, it brings his leg forward a bit. Like this, from, from his tummy. Do, 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 do. Got some spots on here. Now we'll just carry on down his foot. Now, back to the toes. And I kind of connect it up like this. Like these ridges. And a bit of shading underneath here. And shading on the toenail. Shading on there. Cool, now that is a pretty cool looking. Foot. A bit of shading on his leg, like this. Alright, now I'm gonna go do his other foot. 
do 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 Have you ever had a dream that you were a TRX and you were battling another TRX fighting over a blueberry pie? I can't say that I have, but if I ever had a dream about being a TRX fighting over a blueberry pie, I, I, I would just wake up and be like, oh, it was only a dream. Okay. Shading underneath the leg there. Cool. All right, now we've done his legs. Well, let's go finish off that tail. Draw some detail underneath it like this. Do some shading. Shading. Do, 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 do. Have you ever been just relaxing in the lounge? And then a T-Rex just walks in and goes, HELLO! I imagine that after that happened, you wouldn't be relaxing anymore. Alright, cool. I think he's looking cool. Let's do some detail on the ground. So I just draw some, like, plant plants down here. And of course, because he's won the blueberry pie, that needs to be here. And of course, he's eaten most of it. It's in here. He's like eaten that part. This is the inside of the blueberry pie. These little bits of blueberry pie on the ground here. Oh, and I'll make it steamy. Mmm. And he can be saying, um, what can he be saying? He can say... Back off. It's my pie. It's my pie. How would he say it there? He'd be like, back off! It's my pie! Um, cool, alright. Now what I want to do is just like give this some outlines. With this darker pen. Let's go around the edges. Do 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 do. This is like a stylistic thing I like to do. You can also do these dark outlines with your normal um, pen. You don't need a fancy ink one like this one. Do the 
this eye. Just to bring that out. All right, cool. I think that's a pretty interesting, fun looking T-Rex. So I think I might just leave it there and um, yeah, see what you guys think. I like to see your drawings, so if you'd like to take a photo of your drawing and send it through to me, I'd love to see it. Oh, and what we need to do when we finish is sign it. So this is drawn by Joshua Palmer. Here we go. All right, that was fun. Hey everyone, if you thought that was pretty cool, then make sure you smash that like button and click that subscribe button so everybody in the world can know how cool Painty is. Cool.